My name is Abigail. I was diagnosed with Arnold GRA and I had neurosurgery in March of this year. My doctor referred me because I had a lot of toxia going on and so I couldn't move the way I wanted to and just a lot of things that we couldn't explain at the time and we didn't understand um, and we wanted more clarity and we wanted a strategy as to how to fix these things. Three years ago, Tyler was um, misdiagnosed. We were told he had chicken pox and a week later he ended up in the ICU in septic shock. Um, turns out he had Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever um, because it was misdiagnosed and he didn't receive the proper treatment. Um, he, uh, the infection took over his brain. Um, we were in the hospital for two and a half months and when we finally got out of the hospital, Tyler was in a wheelchair with a feeding tube. He was nonverbal for 14 months. Uh, before I came, I was really at a loss as to what was going on. Like, I didn't really have m much uh, explanations. My doctor was like, well, we know this isn't normal, but we have no idea what's going on. I don't know, it's not like I've instantly gotten better. It's not like, ta-da, I'm perfect in everything that I do. But I've gotten a great taste of knowing that I can get there, just with the doctors and the care, the diagnostics and the treatments. Recovery is inevitable. This has been the only chance that we've had at recovery. Every other doctor has told us that we should be happy with what we have, and I know there's more. I know there's so much more that he has to give back to us, and he's getting there. I'm Reese Havens, I'm a professional baseball player. You know, I've seen it with my own two eyes what these people are doing here, and it's really humbling to be in a place where, you know, these kids are, and grown men and women, are just trying to live a functional life. You know, I'm here trying to, trying to just be able to play baseball, you know? I can live as a normal human being, and just to see the stories um, for the four days that I've been here is, is crazy. I see mannerisms that I haven't seen in three years. I, I see, I see Tyler. <laughs> I've seen people walk for the first time while I've been here, people talk for the first time, and, uh, you know, these doctors come out of the office crying because it's a, it's a milestone in these people's lives and it just, it's touching. Um, I was one of the people who couldn't afford coming to see Dr. Carrick and, and treatment or anything of that sort. And um, it took seven months and a whole lot of people, <laughs> a little muscle and a lot of grace is what I like to say. Um, to get here. Every improvement and progress I made, it wasn't just me making that, it wasn't just my doctors and their skill, it was the people behind that that gave a dollar here, that gave ten bucks here. This isn't just because I have a really nice doctor in front of me who knows a lot about how my brain is working. It's because I have people who care about me getting to this step. To, to know that you found the place that you need to be to get your child well and to see that it's just money that's standing between you and that, it's, it's scary. Um, giving to this is saying, yes you can, you can get there. This is something that you can achieve. And if you can help in any way, you know, it doesn't matter what you can give, as much or as little as you're able to, um, it'll help tremendously and it will change lives. I'm so thankful, like, <laughs> that I got here <laughs> and I couldn't have done it without help. <laughs> so, yeah.